Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to another edition of Joe's Technology. This is part three of my uh, i3 4150 build, and uh, here we're looking at the motherboard. We've just uh, put on the CPU fan, and uh, well, and the CPU itself to the motherboard. So next up is time to install memory. In this case, I'm using uh, uh, Corsair's uh, two gigabyte modules, a pair of them, so that uh, we'll be able to take advantage of the um, uh, dual inline uh, memory capability of this board. Uh, it'll add a little bit to the performance um, so that uh, it'll uh, play games a little bit faster. Uh, in most applications you probably wouldn't notice the memory working as a pair, but uh, in gaming you might. So just in case I'll go ahead and, and take advantage of that. Now, as you can see the board is actually marked with uh, DIM numbers. DIMMs 1, 3, 2, and 4. So these gray ones are the first pair, and the black ones are the second pair. So I'll be populating the, the two gray ones here uh, with, with our little uh, Corsair. Um, as I've mentioned before, my channel is too small to have any sponsors. Uh, Corsair does not sponsor me, neither does Gigabyte, and neither does Cooler Master. Um, I happen to have all of them featured simply because I buy these products myself with my own money, and they work, and I've never had to RMA any of them. So. Uh, that's that's uh, why you see me using these particular products. Nobody sends them to me. They're not gifts from benevolent corporations. Uh, they just happen to be the ones that I buy so that I can get the value that I want out of them. Uh, those are just the preferences I've, I've personally developed over the years. Alright, I'm just getting out my uh, pocket knife so that uh, we can open up the... Um, the memory here. All right. Do my best not to cut myself on camera, which is always good. Although, who knows, maybe I would get more ratings. You know, I have a viral video if I cut my finger off on camera, but I'm not going to find out. Ugh. There we go. So we got the top sliced off here. And we can get this, these memory modules out. They're basically just in here with a little piece of plastic, and they're ready to go. Now, for, for as you can see, we have these little uh, locking clamps. You just pop them open. You can take each memory stick. The memory sticks are notched. They only go one way, so... If it doesn't line up with the notch, you're putting it in wrong. Um, let's see. Oops, I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. There we go. So you just put it down, and it should line up with the notch uh, perfectly. Here, let's turn so it's easier to see. <clears throat> and then just press straight down. And you'll notice that those locking clamps will come up on the sides and lock it in place. And they should do that all by themselves, simply by pressing straight down into the board. So again, here we'll repeat that with our second memory module. So you just line them up so that the uh, notch fits with the notch that you see on the, uh, the memory socket. And so it's ready to go. And then again, just press straight down. It shouldn't take a lot of tension. If for whatever reason the PCB you're working with, the motherboard, feels like it has too much give when you do this, you can always uh, pick it up and hold it underneath as you press the memory down if you're worried that your, your board is flexing too much. Okay, with the uh, CPU installed, uh, the CPU cooler and the memory installed, we're now ready to install our motherboard into our case. Uh, but before we do that, the case needs a power supply. Well, we could put the power supply in last. Uh, well, you know what, maybe we will. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll put the board straight away into the case. Now, if you saw the previous video with uh, mounting the CPU cooler, you'll notice that it was, uh, it was screwed in there pretty darn tight. So it's got these nice metal fasteners. You can safely pick this board up and and place it inside just holding the CPU cooler without grabbing the motherboard itself. This uh, will allow you to drop it in there, well, 
carefully, <laughs> of course, without uh, touching any of the delicate little pins. This board is just covered in all kinds of pins and little modules and fuses and caps, and, and you don't want to break any of them. Otherwise, that pretty much that's it for the board. So here, we'll, we'll get the case in our next video and uh, place the board inside.